welcome everybody. I think you'll agree that this is an absolutely astounding venue, isn't it? Um, you won't be surprised to, um, to find out that I was reliably informed this actually had links, royal links, to King Henry VII, which I think is fortunate because if it was the Henry VIII, maybe it wasn't such a good omen for, for a wedding today. So my name's Adam, um, I'm going to introduce the speeches. Um, no, I'm not the best man. I've known Rob since I was 12. Um, two best men, but, you know, not even a shout. No hard feelings, Rob. <laughs> but I would like to share a little bit of an anecdote about how I actually do feel that I'm pretty much responsible for today happening, okay? So, I know, I've known Rob since about 12. Um, and at about age 13, we started playing tennis quite a bit together. So Rob offered me to be his tennis partner, and I gladly accepted. But long story short, it soon became apparent that Rob gained a reputation for being the only one-man doubles team in the whole of Herefordshire's tennis circle. He'd often turn up on his own, and I might forget. So I do like to think that my harsh lesson to Rob has helped him choosing better partners. <laughs> and I think we can all agree that he's picked an absolutely wonderful partner, isn't he? setting we've got the great barn as we've heard already built in the 1470s by Sir James Hobart Attorney General to King Henry the seventh the first Tudor King they say it's the largest surviving Tudor brick built barn in the country with 180 arrow slit windows for our defense probably because we're in Norfolk We've got guests here today from places as far flung as New York, Yorkshire and Alderby. We've online followers from the Philippines, Canada and Saudi Arabia. proud of Charlene for her love, her determination and what she's achieved. And we couldn't be happier with her chosen partner Rob. Already a fully fledged and comfortable extension to the family. When you two need help, and perhaps sometimes when you don't, you know we'll be there. Everyone, please raise your glasses as I say this. Rob and Charlene, may your marriage be a truly happy one. May you have a long and wonderful life together. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the bride and the groom. traditional structure for a bride's speech, however it's not often in life that you get the pleasure of having all your favourite people in one room. So I wanted to take this opportunity to firstly say welcome and then a few thank yous of my own. I thought I'd start with some context as to how we found ourselves here at this beautiful venue in Norfolk today. Growing up some of my happiest memories were spent in Norfolk and nearby Suffolk. It's therefore a part of the world very close to my heart and we're so grateful that you've journeyed here today to share it with us. Whether it be those closer to home in Norfolk and Suffolk, 
Featherfield, London, Hereford, the Wirral, Yorkshire, Bournemouth, Somerset and the Lake District to name a few and ever so slightly further the USA and Australia. So thank you all very much for coming. Earlier this week, Rob likened the wedding to the anticipation he would feel if England were to reach a World Cup final. <laughs> yeah. Now I must admit that's not quite how I would have described it and it's slightly concerning given how English football ends often ends in disappointment. <laughs> However, now we are on match day, I'm really hoping that this part of my speech ends in victory. Some may describe you as having FOMO, also known as fear of missing out. I, however, see it as an infectious love for life. You are my biggest supporter and biggest challenger in life. You share in my ambitions and values and are always there to pick me up and say the right things when my confidence favours. For that, I am extremely grateful. To put it simply, you make me so happy. I have never loved or been loved in such an uncomplicated way and I am grateful for it every day. Thank you for making my dreams come true. Um, we've done so much over the last seven and a half years and life has only begun and I can't even imagine what we're going to do and achieve over the lifetime that we have together. I love you ever so much, so please can we all be upstanding for a toast to the beautiful bride. Beautiful bride. In each other, I think Rob and Charlene really have found the perfect match. They've literally been around the world together. They planned this wedding within an inch of its life. I really am, I'm so impressed. I can't say what, what a good job you've done. Um, I didn't think Rob would ever find someone that was as much of a culture vulture as he is. Um, and someone that he could share all these crazy adventures with. But uh, Charlene's clearly that person. So Rob and Charlene, it's an honour to stand here as one of the best men. I'm delighted for you both. I'm so glad that we can celebrate with friends and family that have travelled from all over the world, as you've already heard. And Rob, for all my jokes, I've never felt like you're annoying little brother, even though I have been at time. Um, I've always thought of you as one of my best mates. And in Charlene, you've clearly found your soul mate, and I couldn't be happier for you both. So if I could propose, Another toast, please, to the bride and groom. <laughs> <laughs>